What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers, bringing you our next matchup in the Ultimate Smash Bros. DLC tournament. Now, got to address it right off the top, right? E3, yesterday we got the Direct, we got Banjo, and we got the Dragon Quest Hero with Erdrick being a skin. That means Banjo is going to be replaced in the tournament and Erdrick is a question mark i need your help before i go into the rules before any you know new people go what is this I, I'll, I'll get into all that in a second so i'm telling you right now i'm replacing banjo with dante from devil may cry that's who uh, is gonna end up replacing banjo because um let's see where was it um yeah i have to replace it because the reason i have to replace him where is he he's up here somewhere the reason I have to replace them is we're in the winner's bracket, and I don't know. It, it's tough. So I'm going to – I didn't think that through. Um, let me think about this. Uh, oh, boy. This is this is tough. What do I do? You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to up, re-upload Matchup 67. It's going to be a rematch. I'm replacing Banjo with Dante. This is how it's going to go. Banjo's getting swapped out with Dante. That way we get a fresh match. Tails gets a fair chance. I don't want to have Dante just come in and immediately have a loss, you know, and just drop to the loser bracket. It, that's not fair. I don't, I don't like that part. So tomorrow I'm going to have two uploads from this tournament. It's going to be a re-upload of game 67. So that's how that's going to work. But for Erdrick, who's down in the loser bracket, who did win, by the way, um, his last match. We just had the results a couple days ago. So Erdrick is in the loser bracket. Erdrick does not have a match, and we're not waiting on results for any time soon. So give me, uh, give me, an, uh, give me your opinion. Do I end up saying Ninten ends up winning? Should I reverse that result? Should I have Ninten going on, or should we replace Erdrick with somebody? Whatever the most answers are, that's what I'm going to go with. All right, and I will have this is. I'll decide this within like a day or two and then I'll let you guys know. So it's not going to, you know, the decision's not going to be open for long. So it's either uh, your options. Ninten wins instead or uh, just replace uh, Erdrick with somebody else. Those are the only two options. So let me know down in the comments. Tell me that as well as your vote for the matchup for the day as well. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Uh, yeah. Wow. Crazy day, crazy day. So you might have seen the results. Uh, basically, again, here's the rules real quick if anybody needs a refresher. Uh, it's a tournament, 72 potential characters. Last now because a few have been eliminated. But uh, this tournament is for fun. So don't take it too seriously if one character gets eliminated. It's not the end of the world. All right. So oh, let's see. You get one vote. The way to vote down in the comments. Simply type the answer to your, uh, your well, your answer. Simply type your answer down in the comments for one of the two characters in the matchup for the day. Today's matchup is Bomberman taking on Dixie Kong. So you vote for one of those down in the comment. One vote per person. You can vote for both. That is totally fine. If there's ever a tie in the voting, I will flip a coin on camera. Best, fairest way to break the tie. It's a double elimination tournament, meaning character has to lose two times. So you lose once, you drop to the loser bracket, lose from there, you're done. And then each matchup voting-wise will stay open for just one week. That way we get more results and more matches and the tournament just keeps on going. All that out of the way. There we go. So, okay, yeah, there we go. Let's just get to the results. Um, who are the results? It was Black Knight taking on Claptrap. It's a little closer than I thought it might be. Uh, Black Knight ended up winning 30 votes to 17 votes for Claptrap from Borderlands. So, Claptrap is done. Black Knight does get to move on. So, congrats to Black Knight. Uh, but, uh, yeah, one more loss for Black Knight, though. Black Knight would be eliminated because we're in the loser bracket. So, let's get to the match for the day. Match for the day. Um, Bomberman and Dixie Kong. Should be an interesting one. That should be an interesting one. So who are we starting with? Bomberman? All right, cool, 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 cool. So Bomberman, personally, personally, I'm a big fan of Bomberman. I've loved the games. I've owned and played many of them. I love the character. I think he fits very well. And I'll try to jump into the moveset in a little bit uh, because uh, some people are like, well, he doesn't really have a moveset. I think you can make a... If you played his games, you can take a lot of elements from the game. So... Uh, Bomberman. Is he popular? I'd say so. Yeah, he's, uh, in his own right. Maybe not quite up there with other third-party gaming legends, but I still think of Bomberman, at least he's an icon in gaming. People know who Bomberman is. You, you, pretty simple. It, he's a dude, and he's a man, and he has bombs. Pretty simple, right? Um, his games are very fun. They're based around, like, little grids. 
Uh, and then you got to, like, place bombs, and you got to try to eliminate your opponents and enemies and stuff like that. It's very fun if you've never played it. Uh, if you ever get a chance to, I'd say, you know, take take a chance. You might, you'll probably end up having fun with it. So, yes, Bomberman is an assist trophy. Again, that doesn't matter for this tournament because uh, this tournament was the ultimate. It didn't matter the character situation uh, going into the tournament. But, you know, things will change during the tournament, such as Banjo and Erdrick getting replaced or, you know, whatever happens with that. So, Bomberman. Let's jump into the moveset, right? So he's got quite a bit of different bombs in his arsenal. Now, uh, you could do a lot with this, uh, with the, the different bombs. So you got the regular ones uh, that you see on screen here. Uh, that could just be, that could be, okay, sure. Send out, okay, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, so, uh, regular bomb could be one move, it, you know, it's nothing, nothing fancy, just kind of maybe just set the bomb, boom. Doesn't do anything with it other than sets it down. Uh, he also has like timer bombs or like you could think of it like a remote sort of thing you can place it down and all these bombs like look differently so you can tell them apart so he's got like we'll, we'll call it the remote bombs or time bomb it basically you can decide when to detonate it you can decide when it goes off which is awesome uh, let's see what else uh, in his games Bomberman can also pick up the bombs he can also kick bombs you know slide in across flat surfaces and whatever so being able to pick up a bomb that he places down could be unique you know a character would be like ah he placed it down maybe try to lure him into a little bit of a trap that'd be pretty interesting and then you know if they don't come near it you just pick it up boom chuck it at him i like that idea pretty simple um of course he's got some arms and legs you typical punches and kicks very easy uh he does have a shield that uh, can block you know other people's bombs so he wouldn't take damage so you can incorporate that shield into uh maybe just a defensive move uh, maybe reflects projectiles, uh, so like a down special. Not necessarily a counter, but it just kind of reflects, yeah, you know what I mean. Somewhat like, somewhat like Fox, you, you get it. So, very similar to that. So, uh, Bomberman definitely has a d wide variety of bombs at his disposal. A pretty decent move pool to kind of play from. If you've played his games, you'll understand that a little bit better. Hopefully my little move set sort of breakdown kind of helps in a way as well. So there's a lot you can do with Bomberman. People want him. People have always been asking for Bomberman in Smash Bros. He's a third party. He just has the Smash sort of vibe, it's Smash feel to him. It, he, I think he would fit very well in the roster. Same way that Banjo just fits with the roster. He just, of course, N Banjo came from Nintendo originally. You know, well, he's always rare, but uh, Nintendo exclusive. He just had the Nintendo cartoony-ish, uh, you know, characteristics to him. Fits very well. Bomberman, I feel the same way. I, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people, this could happen. A lot of people want this, I'm, myself included. I'd love to see Bomberman. So, uh, maybe, maybe he happens in a future Smash game. You know, fingers crossed for that. I would love to see that. So, let's move on to his opponent, though. Dixie Kong. The biggest thing I will always, always, always say about Dixie Kong, Smash Bros. started as a Nintendo All-Star game. Now, of course, over the you know past few entries into the series, we've gotten third-party characters as well, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with third-party, don't get me wrong. But at the core, this is a Nintendo All-Star game, and Dixie Kong is legit one of the last remaining Nintendo, you know, true Nintendo All-Stars that are still out there. And her not being on the roster at this point is very, I don't know, you want to say criminal that she's not in over, like... Some very, very iffy choices. Um, no offense to, you know, anybody that uh, likes these characters, but somebody uh, potentially like uh, Lucina, maybe Corrin. Uh, <laughs> just name a couple Fire Emblem. But um, uh, Ice Climbers, maybe Rob. Just there's a lot of characters that uh, haven't had the same premise, the same sort of, you know, attention that Dixie Kong has received throughout Nintendo history. She, well, she's a female. Always run for more females, right? Yes. But I just feel she's like just being omitted from the roster at this point is just, I, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, if uh, nobody's seen my Banjo and uh, Dragon Quest Hero video yesterday, check it out. It's a, I, I, I had fun with it. But, um, uh, I, I said in that tur uh, in that tournament in that video that at the very start of the banjo trailer uh, with Donkey Kong and uh, Diddy Kong and K. Rool all sitting in the little hut, I initially thought it was Dixie Kong they were going to reveal, and I was like, "What? What a minute? Wait a minute!" No, nah, of course it didn't happen. But 
Dixie Kong, she is a spirit, but again, does not matter for this tournament. You wanna you wanna vote for her? Go ahead, vote for her. It's all <laughs> it's all good. All good. So Dixie Kong, she has great history. Uh moveset wise, let's break it down a little bit. Uh yeah, there would be similarities to uh to Diddy Kong, but let's face it, if you look at uh some of the character well, look at all the characters so far in the DLC Fighter Pass. Joker uh, some people think uh, he's kind of like a somewhat semi-clone. He's kind of like taking moves from all sorts of different little areas. Uh, not areas, but different characters. Uh, let's see. Um, the Dragon Quest hero definitely reminds me a lot of uh, Robin's play style. Uh, I can see that, you know, a sword user, but also has some magic in there. So I see a lot of similarities. And then, of course, Banjo. Uh, there's going to be the uh, similarity comparison to Duck Hunt as well. Uh, so... Diddy, you know, kind of comparing, having some similar moves to Diddy Kong. I mean, that kind of fits with the theme that uh, the Smash, uh, the Fighter Pass is going so far. So, uh, yeah, but she's still got her own unique stuff. She's got, uh, I know Diddy Kong has the peanut pop gun, but D Dixie Kong has like the bubble gum gun, something like that. So, somewhat different. Um, kind, uh, I'm trying to think, like her final smash, that would be something I've always kind of thought. Uh, the I think it's like the Friends Stampede, basically a bunch of friends from uh, the Donkey Kong universe, like the Rhino, the what, whatever else they have, kind of like come trampling across the screen. So something like, uh, it'd be like a little cinematic cutscene, similar to Yoshi's Final Smash. All the Yoshis come running across and trample over somebody. That's kind of how I would uh, envision Dixie Kongs, a bunch of Donkey Kong friends, Rambi and all sorts of them, run across and trample whoever it is that gets caught in the Final Smash. Very simple. Again, you could go with a unique sort of uh, fighter vibe, or you could go with a semi-ish echo fighter of uh, for, of Dixie Kong for Diddy Kong. But uh, let's face it, it's going to be more unique characters than anything, even if there are characteristics uh, that seem like they were taken from other characters. So, uh, yeah, uh, let me jump into the voting because, um, well, I think it's just time to vote. Uh, for me, I will always love to have Dixie Kong, but... but I love I love Bomberman more. I love Bomberman more. He gets my vote. I've always wanted to see Bomberman in Smash. As a kid, uh, I was always I made up my own like fake roster, you know, as as a kid. After uh, Smash Bros. sixty four came out, made up my own roster. It had Bomberman, Samurai Goro, some other you know random characters. Uh, so Bomberman has always been a character I personally really liked and personally really want. So he gets my vote. Very simple in that one. So that is going to be it for this one. Again, I will have a, uh, uh, I guess sneak peek for tomorrow. And again, a reminder that, uh, today or sorry, tomorrow, tomorrow, we will have the re upload the, I guess, uh, the redo, the remat. That's not a rematch, but the redo of tales and banjo. Banjo will be replaced with Dante from Devil May Cry, so it'll be a rematch. Any votes from the Tales Banjo uh, game from a few days ago, none of that's going to count. None of it's going to count. It's just going to be a redo. And then uh, let me know also in the comments, uh, what would you rather see? Would you rather just have Nintendo beat Erdrick? Would that be fair? Or should we replace Erdrick with somebody else? And whoever, you know, replaces Erdrick ends up already having one loss because he's in the loser bracket. Or she's in the loser bracket, depending on the character we choose. But with that out of the way, sneak peek for tomorrow. The matchup, let's go. Um, where are we at? There we go. The match for tomorrow is going to be game 70. Kamek, oh, here we go. This should be an interesting one. Kamek taking on Pira Nikos. Very strange character in the tournament, but uh, she's got some decent support. Decent support. At least as a result of the first match. So that will be the game tomorrow. And then the ma uh, the results. The results tomorrow is going to be Hayachi against General Rom. Face it, probably going to be Hayachi to be fair. But we'll see. You never know. Anyway, that is it for this one. Again, let me know all the stuff down in the comments. Whatever has the most votes ends up winning. And I'll let you guys know within a day or two um, from this video. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.